Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you something about the Sanguine Elixir. Um, this is the elixir you can make in the inventory of the Desmodus. You can only make it when you have equipped the saddle. So I will show you. You can craft it right now. It um, you have to put 200 blood packs in the inventory, or it probably will have in the inventory because it gathers a lot of blood packs. Uh, you can craft it like this, but as soon as you take off the saddle, you are not able to craft it. So I have crafted some for now. Let's craft something more so I can show you something more with it. Okay, the things you can do with it. You can uh, tame creatures with it, really every creature. Uh, you can tame knockout tames with them and um, also passive tames. The elixir gives about a 30% boost in the taming. So that's a yeah, pretty big boost. It also uh, does a 30% imprinting boost whenever you use it on a creature that's growing up. So I will knock out a creature and I will show you how it's done. Let's find a pretty small creature like this. Not a high level, it's not it should be fine. You can just uh, stand next to it, like this, you can see nothing at all. Consume, it only says consume whenever you really are able to use it. Uh, so consume and it's 30% tamed because it has no food in the cemetery it will, it will drain a lot so yeah put food in its uh, inventory first but uh, that's the first thing it's useful for uh, I will try to find a uh, passive tame and I will bring you back to show you more about that I'll be right back. Okay, I found a uh, Andrew Sarkis. It's a passive tame. You can tame it with uh, honey. You can throw some honey on the ground and it will eat it. And at the moment that it eats it, you can uh, mount it, press the right buttons and it will tame up. Uh, so I will try it out on uh, this one. Just um, Whenever you started the taming, you can uh, press, in my case, 3. I have uh, the elixir on the uh, third spot on the hotbar. Just stand next to it, press 3, and uh, it will gain 30% uh, taming. So uh, let's try it out. Honey. Okay, it did eat it. Okay, it has the taming, as you can see. Okay, I will not tame it, but it has 30% uh, right from the start. And you can just continue by hopping on. So, yeah, that's about it for the passive tames. It also works for the Equus. Just make sure you first feed it, first carrot or whatever you use. Um, stand next to it. And um, after that, um, use the elixir and then hop on. And then you should be fine. So that's it about the taming of passive creatures. Alright, the last thing about the elixir. Is the imprinting on 
baby dinos. So I will quickly hatch the Nonicus and pick up moment. I think I'm not that long. Okay, I'll be back when it's hatched. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I didn't hit record, so I had to do had to get some other eggs. But I will show you, it works like this. Uh, you stand next to it, the baby creature, it will raise. Um, you don't have to put anything in its inventory. I have the maturation settings a bit high, so don't pay attention to that. Um, but you can use uh, the elixir like this, it says consume. Uh, just to show you, it doesn't say consume when you're over here. So you stand next to the creature, consume the elixir, and then there's a 30% imprinting. So that's an easy bonus for imprinting any creature. Um, that's it about the elixir. Uh, I hope you found the episode to be useful, please subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one, uh, goodbye.